when my mother started making pottery, and you know me observing her work as a teenager, I would see, let's say out of 10 pots, she would make nine of them that were very traditional. And then she would make one piece that was just a little more unusual. And that was the one that I noticed. Porter Tewa from Santa Clara Pueblo. My mother learned how to make pottery from her mother, Mary Kane. She learned from her mother. And it just it goes back generation after generation. It was really, really neat experience as a child to, to go to museums and see work that my grandmother had made or my great grandmother. It's a pretty amazing genealogical record that's been kept. They recorded their history through the design work. When I was uh, 16 years old, I had started making pottery and selling it. In those you know, first few years, a lot of pieces broke. To have spent months on a piece and have it break could be very discouraging. One day my grandmother would mention uh, maybe like my great-grandmother and say, oh, well, she must have wanted the pot and so, you know, she, she took the, the pot with her. And, <laughs> and that was definitely, I think, a, a positive outlook. I'm working on one particular piece, which is a commission. This will be for, for a museum. This is one of the largest pieces that I've made. It took me about eight weeks to, to build this piece. So now I'm in the process of designing it. While the clay is moist, it's, you know, I gotta design it and carve it. And then it has to dry. On a piece this big, I'm, it's gonna be a very controlled drying. And so I'll dry it slowly using newspaper and plastic and that process alone could take two months. So while it's drying, I can be working on other pieces. This piece is inspired by Pablo Picasso, the, the imagery on it. My work went from symmetrical to asymmetrical. So I had a completely different way of thinking and working. So now I started thinking sculptural. Having made bronze for now 13 years, my process is still changing. It's continually changing. Each piece is a little unique and different, you know, depending on the form will depend on the material I'm going to use. The inner core of this was I used insulation board actually, cut foam pieces and glued them together and then sculpted the foam and then applied oil-based clay on top of the form is definitely inspired by the Pueblo culture. Dances are something that are performed throughout the year, and so I captured one of the dancing moments. Designing jewelry, I viewed it more as this is like mini sculpture, you know, just um, wearable sculpture. You can look at, I think, all these mediums that I've worked in, and even though it's a different material, no, it's mine. The style is, you know, is still there.